Okay, for this assignment, you will be exploring the five layers of Earth's atmosphere. And to do this, you will be watching um, a video using this link right here. I'm just going to warn you, it is the speaker in the video is very robotic, so enjoy. Um, there are two parts. The first part is kind of creating a diagram of Earth's atmospheric layers in a Google drawing. And then the second part is pretty self-explanatory. As you watch the video, you're just answering these questions. Um, both parts use the video, so you can do them either one at a time or simultaneously, your choice. I'm giving you three days to complete this assignment, which is more than enough time. Um, right now, what I want to do is really just focus on part one, um, and I'm going to show you how to complete this part. So, like I said, you'll watch the video, um, and then part one uses this portion of your assignment, which is the Google Drawing, and um, you'll notice the center is your, your Google Drawing, and at the very bottom of the drawing is Earth's surface, and then above Earth's surface are five boxes, each representing one of the layers of Earth's atmosphere. For each box, you need to add the following information that is over here in this text box. Okay, and then on the right side are some icons and labels that you will be kind of dragging and dropping into the appropriate layers. So I'm just going to quickly kind of walk through um, each box here so that you know exactly what I would what I am looking for. So the first thing you need is a title of each layer in the box. So you'll use an icon for that, which are over here, your five layers. So for example, if I think this first layer here is the thermosphere, I click and drag this label into that box. The second thing you need is a fill color, meaning I'd like you to fill this layer of the atmosphere a specific color. It can be your choice, um, but I would like you to use five different colors and do not use this green as it has already been used for our service. So to add a fill color, you're gonna to go to the little paint can at the top, open it up, and like I said, you can do any color you want. Um, I'm gonna go with yellow. Okay, the third thing is the altitude at which you will find this layer. And I would like you to, to do this, add a text box, and place it next to the arrows that kind of show the height of the layer. This information you will find in the video. However, just to kind of show you how to do this, once you find that information, you will click right here. This is the text box button. I'd like you to put that information right here. So for example, and like I, I tell you right in here, use kilometers. It will also give it to you in miles, but please use kilometers. For example, maybe this layer, the thermosphere, is from 0 to 200 kilometers. Okay. Then I need an explanation for what happens to the temperature as you climb higher in each layer. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, it's really one of two things. It's either going to increase or it's going to, temperature is going to increase as you go higher or temperature is going to decrease as you go higher. Um, this information is not given to you to the very end of the video, so just be aware of that. Again, I'd like you just to add a text box, so you'll click the text box button, and then you will type in, in this layer, temperature increases as you go higher. Okay, and you can change if you want to change the colors of the text box or the text style and size, feel free. Okay, the last thing you need for each box is all the appropriate icons and their titles. So those are located over here on the right, right hand side of the Google Drawing. You'll notice there's a little all, all these little pictures, and then above each picture is kind of a title of what it is. You need both portions of it. Um, some of the boxes will only have, some of the layers will only have one of these. Some of them will have multiple. You just got to figure it out using the video. 
So for example, maybe I say that meteors are occurring in this layer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag both the icon and its title into the layer. Okay, maybe I also think or found out that satellites are in this layer. Again, I'm just going to drag and place them. Depending on how many you need to fit in here, you might have to resize them. Um, but that's dependent on how many you are trying to add. You will use everything in this box. And like I said, some of the layers will only have one icon. Some of them will have multiple. Once you have this completely filled in, you'll move to the next layer. And you will do that for all five of Earth's atmospheric layers.